All right, so today I am setting up to do the composite angles for the hull. The composite angles are actually the basically a shelf that you put the floor on and you epoxy that to the side of the hull. So I'm setting up a jig right now and let me show you the contraption. So these pieces are gonna get hot glued down to this board and then butt them against each other as tight as possible. And then I'm gonna tape them so the fiberglassine doesn't stick to it, and the epoxy doesn't stick to it. Yeah, kind of a medial task, but it has to be done. So once it's all set up, we'll be able to glass our composite angles and then put these two pieces here on top to kind of press it down and make it a better angle. So that's the gist of it and that's what I'm doing right now. injure myself on the most medial task. Hot glue is hot people. Don't forget it. Of course, that took me way longer than expected. The sun set. But it's done. Okay, so here's my lovely tape job on the angle irons. And today I'm going to do a test of a layup of three layers of 16, 12 ounce tape. Hey, hon. This glass is 16 or 12? 12. Okay. Yep. So I just laid up two 30 inch, three layers thick of 16 ounce tape to make the angles and I weighed them down with the cinder blocks. 
Hopefully that will assist in wringing out any excess resin and air bubbles that are in there. So, here's to hoping. There you go. Thanks to you. Real project. I just want to see how it came out. Ow. One. Now how do we get them off? So it stuck to it. Who's it Oh, it makes me like him. Cool. Look what I did. Cool, look what I did. <laughs> Good job, buddy. So now we're going to just trim this edge clean. Yeah. And then we'll cut our light on the camera. You might have to re tape this before you See how it's like thick resin? Yeah. Just give it a little pop right there. Same thing where it's like thick resin. Should get under that resin if you can. Like that. And it's fiberglass, it'll bend a little bit before it snaps. If you can get your fingers under there. Yeah, however, you, however you can. Just don't cut yourself because there might be sharp edges. Just push it up. Nice and easy. Gentle, gentle. Don't twist it. Just straight up. Grab both sides. You like the screwdriver. There's enough to get into there. Just pick it up. You got it. There you go. Look what you did. I did it. Looks good. It looks good. It's so just the, down the, the middle doesn't matter. These little air bubbles will get cut out anyway and that's not a big deal. Because that's all going to get glassed. It looks really good though. Like the... Yeah. The angles. So hopefully that's enough. If we find it's not thick enough, cool. which it feels like it's pretty thick, um, we can always add another layer on top of this layer to just sand it quick. And I mean, it layer. wouldn't be hard to. It was easy enough laying three up. To do four. But no, it looks good. Nice job. Thanks. So now we're going to start doing the long ones, right? Yeah. Maybe okay. we can use these for something, right? We're going to use those for the bulkheads, where the bulkheads are. So we need them inside and outside of the bulkheads on both hulls. Okay. So we're gonna need like six of them total, I believe. So you might actually have to make a couple more, but we'll have scraps off of the long ones. That's why I wanted you to just do a test piece because I figured we can still use them somewhere. Cool, all right. All right, nice work. That's two down. So this is gonna be our composite angle jig. Everything seemed to go well. Yeah. Very little air pockets. Yeah, the, uh, what you're seeing here is just like the tape. And wrinkles in the tape. So that shouldn't matter. Nope, not going to matter at all. It's just it's all under the, the floors. Tape. And did you explain what this is all for? I did, but can you explain it better? Okay, so the composite angles get glued to the wall of the hull. And then, so basically this is going to get cut in half and there's going to be two pieces. So it's going to be literally this shape here. We're going to glue this side here. And this will be obviously those fiberglass ones you just made. One side will get glued to the hull itself or to the walls. And then the floor is going to sit right on top of this. And we'll be able to epoxy that floor right down to the top surface of this. Are we putting like reinforcement in between like this way? No, that's it. So all the, everything on the vertical walls of the hulls, uh, which will be the exterior walls, all the bulkheads, will get this composite angle. And then we're actually gonna have to make some more for that area where the chamfer panels meet the bridge deck, uh, where there's flooring all the way down. We have to make some more for that. That's gonna end up being a custom jig. We're probably gonna make it out of a foam or something. And basically the same process, lay up the glass, resin, let it cure, peel it off, and then we'll attach it to the hull later. Give it a quick sand and attach it. So, anything else? Nope. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing. <laughs> All right. I'll let you get the last one too. Oh, thanks. I'll do the camera work. Okay.
cool. Where are they going? Ooh. Got some raisins stuck in there. Oh, jeez. It's because this resin squeezed out. Holy that. crap, that's an extra lot of extra resin. <laughs> We knew we had excess resin on that when we did it, so this one hopefully will come off easier. <laughs> and now to get it off of this. Once you get one corner, I started to show. Are you alright? Yeah, I just stabbed myself five of us. You know. Because you know. Because we're building a rope. Hopefully. How many of these we got to make? Um, Actually, not that many. Because cool. uh, you're making two at a time. Right. So it's going to be uh, maybe f four more rounds. Four rounds total. Oh, total. Okay. Yeah, because there's only, it's only the sides of the boat, really. Careful. Spiky. Yes, it is. Oh, it's way down here. It's already loose. Oh. Well, it told you. Yeah, it is. Four, four layers was the way to go. Yeah. So yeah, we'll clean this up. And the best way to clean this up is just going to be take one of these, half a, Straight. drop it right on top of this, mm -hmm. and then we can just literally run the saw, the buzzy tool, right along this. This has to get, uh, the tape is holding it up right now, this tape. Okay. See how it's holding it up. So I'll have to peel that tape off later as we do it, but. Yay. Okay. Okay. Cool. So it looks good. Yeah. Nice job. How are you? Your job, not mine. Yeah, but we did it together. No, you did it. I was just here for looks. Oh. So this will get glued to the hull uh, on the side. Can, I don't know if you can hold, can you hold this camera or something. All right. So we'll glue this. Hold it like that. There you go. <laughs> so we're gonna glue.